we're going to be learning all about the Isle of Man. So, let's go discover what we can find inside. Let's go find the Isle of Man. It is a super duper tiny island and it is located just around here. What is an island? Well, an island is just an area of land surrounded by water. We get some tiny islands and we get some bigger islands. Did you know that Great Britain is actually an island? The Isle of Man is an island in the Irish Sea. It is located in between Great Britain and Ireland and Northern Ireland. The capital of the Isle of Man is Douglas. The second biggest town is Ramsey. Other towns include Peel and Castletown. The Calf of Man and Chicken Rocks are small islands just off the Isle of Man. No one lives there, but there is a lighthouse on Chicken Rock. The Isle of Man is 572 kilometres big, which is about double the size of Manchester or Birmingham. Here you can see the flag of the Isle of Man. It has three legs. People call it the three legs of man. No one's really sure what it means, but some people think it represents sun, power and life. There are over 80,000 people living on the Isle of Man. That might seem like a lot, but some cities in England have over a million people living in them. And I've heard Strangstall sells the best breakfast butties. Someone who comes from the Isle of Man is called a Manx. English is the most common language spoken on the Isle of Man. However, they did have their own special language once upon a time. The language was called Manx or Manx Gaelic. You can see some signs on the Isle of Man written in Manx. Why don't we learn some Manx? So they have Mormai for good morning and they also have Fastamai for good evening or good afternoon. Or we can just say yes sir. Every year the Isle of Man hold a very, very famous motorcycle race called the Isle of Man TT. People travel from all around the world to participate. My favourite rider is Connor Cummings. The Isle of Man is famous for its Manx cats. They don't have tails and they're typically called stubbins. Wallabies are a native animal to Australia. However, over 40 years ago, a pair of wallabies escaped from a nature centre on the Isle of Man. And now there are over a hundred wild wallabies living on the Isle of Man. How crazy is that? The Isle of Sodor, which is the fictional island Thomas the Tank Engine, was based on the Isle of Man. Well, boys and girls, I've had so much fun learning about all these super duper cool facts with you all. But it's now time for me to go. So, faster Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you catch all of our other videos right down right now. And make sure you tune in every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for new videos. Please check all of our social medias news about upcoming